Ladies and gentlemen on the Shrug Gaming Zedicom video, we have a small update concerning Zen. And this is actually one of the cooler Zen rumours that we've heard. So, as you all know, Zen is the upcoming processor from AMD. It's supposedly going to offer about a 40% improvement um, clock for clock over their current generation of processors. And naturally is x86-64. Now, what's rather interesting is these new rumours, which originate from bitsandchips.it, tells us that the processor is going to have an 8-core variant as the primary focus from AMD. And not just that, but because each core will feature SMT, simultaneous multi-threading or hyper-threading if you want the Intel way of saying it, that means that you should be able to run 16 threads on this processor, which is absolutely crazy. Now, there is a possibility that AMD will also offer 6-core variants at launch because it will make sense from the yield perspective. For example, let's just say that they have 100 processors, but every one in every 10, for sake of argument, um, doesn't manage to make all cores work, well, all of the eight, therefore it makes a lot of sense for them to say, hey, seven of these don't work, let's just make it an even six, and then obviously that's a good price point, they can make it cheaper, and it offers a good amount of product on the market, or a good amount of products in the market. Some rumours do indicate that AMD are potentially considering offering a 4-core variant, but they're going to be cheap, and they're going to be specifically for OEMs. So, for example, the Dells of the world will be the ones offered these processors, but for the customers, for you and I, who are building their own PCs, initially, you're going to be able to go down to your local store, whatever that is, let's say for the sake of Amazon, and search for Zen, and you will primarily be focusing, or rather AMD will primarily, primarily excuse me, be focusing on selling you uh, eight core processors. Now, the reason this is really cool uh, to me is it's a hell of a lot better than Intel's models. And whether you're talking about Skylake, Kaby Lake, I think we're all kind of sick of the four core, eight thread motto that Intel have had. And we all know that they've really been focusing a hell of a lot on, um, I guess you could say, power consumption, which is fair enough. And obviously, they've got their own, you know, the 5000 series and the 6000 series, like the 6950, which does have a lot of extra cores, but it's not really for the, the average customer. They're more expensive, the motherboards are more expensive, and really... Uh, although, then again, look at the price of the 6700K, particularly just a couple of weeks after launch. It absolutely shot up in price. I have no idea what the hell is going on with that. But anywho, what I'm hoping for, and obviously doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be reality, but what would be awesome is if AMD are going to be competitive at roughly the same price points that, AM, uh, that in Intel are, but for like for like processors. So for the sake of argument, for let's say 200, 250, 300, they've got processors which let's say are 6 or 8 core. That would be absolutely fantastic and it would really shape up the market, or shake up the market. Now, immediately you're going to say, well, okay, well, what about the performance per core, per thread? Well, here's the thing. We don't necessarily know what the performance is going to be per core because we don't know the clock speeds yet. So it's going to be kind of a, a, a weird situation where let's say if both processors, let's say Kaby Lake and Zen, are clocked at 3 gigahertz, for example, you could have Kaby Lake maybe being a little faster, but it could be that Zen runs at a higher clock speed so the differences are somewhat eaten up. Or, it could be that per core, per thread, Zen is slightly behind KB Lake or Skylake. But, because it has that many um, more cores at the disposal to run an application, and whether that's DirectX 12 based games, or whether that's, let's say, you as a, a customer who wants to do like Photoshop artwork, or 3D Studio Max, or compiling code, for example, C Sharp, whatever you're doing, then that's a good thing, it gives you that many more options. Honestly speaking, I'm actually kind of okay with this. I think I think it's a really good way for uh, AMD to go. 
and if they can carve out their own niche in the market, I'm absolutely okay with this. Now we do know that Zen will have a successor known as Zen Plus. We don't know so much about that, obviously. We do know it's going to have improvements in IPC over the original Zen architecture, but how much they are and whether there's going to be, for example, improvements on core speed. For example, let's say Zen clocks at, I'm just pulling a figure out my butt here, let's say it's a 4 gigahertz. Well, is Zen Plus going to be 4.4? We don't really know. Um, but it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with this one. I'm quite darn happy if this rumor turns out to be true. And it means, theoretically speaking, that the 8-core versions of the processors will be a bit cheaper because AMD are just going to basically say to themselves, hey, we want to compete in terms of the number of cores. And to be honest with you, it's good from a marketing point of view because it means that they can really sell their processors as, you know, the the base versions, the, the customer, I guess you could say the enthusiast line, the, the gaming-focused processors. They can say that they've got more cores than Intel, which is a good thing. And hopefully that will shake up Intel a little bit in the marketplace. We do know, however, that Intel are not so focused at the moment on desktop. And one can argue that that's because there's less competition. Or you could also argue that they're just more focused on mobile and other such devices and, well, we'll have to see what happens in terms of the competitive uh, nature of Zen and just where the market moves. But I'm absolutely pretty darn happy that AMD supposedly are going to be fabricating just octa-core dies. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Been a bit of a shorty, but I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.